Happy Independence Day. I hope that your holiday has been going really well. It has been very good and very peaceful. I have enjoyed my days off. Um, so I just wanted to stop by and just kind of um, just share some thoughts and things that was on my heart and things that was on my mind and um, just to um, talk about I was thinking about today being Independence Day um, and thinking about that word independence and thinking about freedom and how um, America is a free country and how we have freedom of speech and freedom, freedom of thought and uh, freedom to be creative and um, we have many privileges and really many rights in this country. <clears throat> but of course, I kind of started to lean to the spiritual and just thought about um, the freedom that I have because my life is hidden in Christ and how um, I am free from sin. I'm free from the cares and the weights of this life that will weigh you down. I'm free from depression. I'm free from rejection which was um, something was a, was, a, was a stronghold and was a place in my life that um, really kept me in bondage for a long time. Um, just that uh, root of rejection. Um, and I'm free from shame, the shame of my past. Um, I'm free from um, being so overly concerned about what people think about me and having to move to the beat of everybody else's drum and just really um, accepting and loving me for the me that God created me to be. Um, I am free to express um, my thoughts and, um, and my creativity but I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about I'm free to love and I'm free to receive love and um, I was standing in the kitchen and my husband came and he just kind of walked up behind me and um, just hugged me he was like you're still not used to all this love yet and I'm like I'm getting used to it because I've had a a broken past and broken marriages and broken relationship and broken friendships and and because of all of that um, I, I was not free to give love and free to receive love and so on this um, day of independence I am really thanking God for the freedom that I have in Him. And last but definitely not least, I am free to worship. I am free to worship God in spirit and in truth. And I understand that it's not anything, any good thing that I could do that allows me to be free to have a relationship with God and, and, and free to walk in Him and to worship Him, um, to lift up one hand without wrath and the other hand without doubting. But it is truly the blood of the Lamb, His sacrifice that causes me to be free. So, um, if you don't um, have freedom in your life and you you are struggling in some areas look at your relationship with God and if you don't have a relationship with God and you want to know how you can be free inbox me we can talk about it we can dialogue um, I would love nothing more but to be able to share the love of Christ with you and let you know how you can be free just as God has come to set me free. So I hope that blesses you. Love you all. Have a great day. And we will see each other soon. Bye.